Guys, also, hate to piss everyone off, I'm probably gonna piss someone off. I think I'm gonna have to take out taxes too. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Do you make up the rules as you go along? Hello everyone, we're back to spill more tea in the slot community and expose the fakes, frauds, and liars running these virtual group polls. Plus, I added some extra tea in this video. The vault is almost out of storage and I had to put a little bit of tea on clearance. So let's begin. Out of all the things that go on in the Slack community, I would say that this is probably one of the most commented on subjects that I get on my videos. People are always asking me about these virtual group polls. People are always sending me receipts saying, look at this video, look at this, what do you think about this? And I have kept a list of channels to keep an eye out for in the past, I would probably say year. And today is the day, like I always say, that it comes to light. So with all of my videos, I don't really beat around the bush. We get right into the subject. So let's just dive into this, okay? So about two, three months ago, I sent an email to Filthy Slot Channel. I'm going to put it up and I'm also going to show you his response. Uh, I know you like story time, so let's begin. So I sent Filthy an email and I'm just reading this part because it's the most important part of the email. But I said, so here are the issues being presented. You have no set rules for your group polls. Whatever rules you do set at the beginning of your group polls, you change as you go along. You say you are playing one game, but then change it to others as you see fit. You do not play all the money that you have in your starting pot. This isn't just one person. I've been messaged by several, which is very true. Let's not forget the fact that sending money across state lines is really not legal, and you are broadcasting it on YouTube. Not really a smart thing to do. The whole point of a group pool is for people to be with the slot creator, not for them to just send money for you to have free content, earn some slot points on your player's card, etc. This is a bad look on the slot community, and the way you're, you are going about it is all wrong. Rules, taxes, machines, how many spins are all things that should be set in advance prior to anyone joining so they can decide whether or not they want to participate. I actually really enjoy your live stream when you first started, but the path you were going down is not good for your channel or the Slack community because it makes us all look less legitimate. I didn't even touch on you now promoting an online casino in Malta, which he was, I think he recently stopped. It wasn't Chumba. It was another shady online casino. We're not even going to get into it. Do you advise your subscribers of the legality issues of playing from states that could prosecute them for gambling? from their states at an online casino. Each state differs in their laws. So that's the email that I sent to him. I wasn't expecting a nice response and I didn't get a nice response. So filthy response, ha ha ha, dude, you're too much. I wish you well on your channel. Glad I can help you boost your channel's performance. Okay. If anyone has a problem who has actually been in one of my group polls, please have them email me personally. These people don't want to approach you. And we're going to get into the reason why they don't want to approach him. But it's not anyone who has. It's people with absolutely no lives and nothing else better to do than stir up shit. Karma always gets them in the end, though. I think karma's going to get you. Uh, I won't lose sleep over this. But like I said, if anyone who actually has been in one of my group polls has a problem, send them my way. But the thing is, is they came my way. And I was giving you a heads up as a nice person, letting you know, hey, People are approaching me that were part of your group poll. Here are their concerns. Here are the things that are bothering them about your group polls. So why do they need to approach? They want to remain anonymous. That's why they came to me, because they know that I would, I would protect that and I would keep that, as I always have with anyone that sends me a message. If they say I want to remain anonymous, I make sure that they remain anonymous. Take care, bud. Good luck going this route with your hobby. Wish you the best. Well, thank you for wishing me the best. I wish you the best as well. Now prepare to get read for filth. So let's get into one of the messages that I received. This person said, I had 14 spots on the one where he won pretty big. My spots were worth over $12,000 at one point, but he continued to play. When he finally stopped for the night, I believe my spots were worth less than 9000 He took 
for taxes and sent me like 7K. I'm not complaining. 7K take home for 1400 was fine with me because I don't really need the money. I quit his group post because we don't have much say in what we play or how much per spin and when to quit, which is pretty much all the things that I addressed in the email to him trying to give him a heads up like, hey, people are bothered by the way you're running these group posts. You really shouldn't be running them anyway. But here's a heads up of what people are saying. He does ask if anyone wants out. Now that here's the thing where he said people should message me. And this is probably the reason why. This person writes, he does he does ask if anyone wants out. They can, but a lady, think her name was Pam, asked out early, and the chat made fun of her for the rest of the night. So this person probably, you know, was happy with what she won. He asked, should we keep going? She said, I want out. And then she got attacked. I don't enter group polls to make money. I could care less if it's lost. It's just more fun to watch and have a personal stake in it. I understand. With him doing $250 and $100 spins, I think it's going to shorten my viewing time and not worth it. He got extremely lucky that night, and it's a rare thing to happen with his budget. He then did more group posts chasing that big win, but I know it's not going to happen anytime again soon. And I also see the buy-ins for the group posts getting less and less people buying spots. Of course, because of the way he's running them. He loves the fame, but he doesn't have the finances to do high limit play without using other people's money, which we're going to get into this with all the channels that are running these virtual group polls, which that's pretty much sums up this entire video, that the people don't have money to play like this. And that's the reason why they're holding virtual group polls. That's why past month, all he has been doing is peddling those crappy online slot sites, the, the ones in Malta. I like the guy and we text all the time and I love his lives, but I can see that he wants to play with the big boys, but he has to work hard and build his platform to the level he wants. And please don't use my name. I support blah, blah, blah. And he loves my channel as well, which again, if you're here, who doesn't fucking love my channel? So Filthy is using people to gamble at a level that he can't on his own. He's also obviously everyone that is holding these virtual group polls. They are reaping the benefits, earning the comps and the future free play offers from having all these big bets. Obviously, they're using their player's card. And then we're also going to get into the subject of withholding taxes. I want to show a couple of videos from Filthy's group poll so you could see exactly what goes on. All right, guys. So if we stop now, 128 first spot. So 128 It's only $28 if you got one spot. Give me some thumbs down if you want to be out. Thumbs up if you want to keep this rocking. All right, guys, so we only want to see the thumbs down. You see the thumbs down, you're out. I right, see, let's keep rocking. All right, that's enough I see. Let's do this. So in that video, he's, you know, on the fly, just telling the group we're up, you know, $38 per spot, depending on how many spots you bought in for. I'm assuming the buy-in was $100. Uh, should we keep going or not? But the thing is, is that how do you know that all your participants are there in the chat? Some people might be watching it later. It's a pretty odd way to do it. So what, you see a couple of thumbs up and you're like, okay, let's keep going. There's the, the, that's the reason why group polls should have set rules, double or nothing, uh, anything, you know, some type of a rule or we cycle all the, the, the complete pot through the machine. And once we cycle, you know, if it's $5,000 in funds, once you cycle the $5,000, you stop. There should be some type of rules for a group poll. I'm not saying that, you know, everything needs to be ironclad. But there definitely should be a, a, a base of rules for a group poll, not that you just decide everything on, on the fly like this person that sent me the message. They don't have a say in games. They don't have a say when they can stop. We're, we're going to get into him on the fly just deciding that he's going to withhold taxes. So let's actually let's actually play that video. Oh, guys, also, I hate to piss everyone off. I'm probably going to piss someone off, but no one bitched uh -oh. the last time. I think I'm going to have to take out taxes. He just said no one 
got pissed the last time. This was the second time that he said, I'm going to withhold taxes, that he did it on the fly. And he said, no one got pissed the first time. So in his head, he's saying, I got away with it the first time. So let me do it again. But let me keep playing the clip and then we'll discuss it. This is 20,000. I'm already up 70,000 on this place. My host told me I'm up $70,000, guys, on this place. So this is like 90,000 if I do that. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to. I'll take out 20%. I'll try to make it easy. Hello, it's really 28%, but I'll do 20%. So, oh, so it's normally 28%, but he's going to do 20. So now he's wheeling and dealing because he's such a good guy. He's, he's going to only withhold 20% in taxes instead of the normal 28, which I don't know where he gets 28 from. Thank you for that 8% in savings. Also, in regards to his story, when he's saying I'm up 70,000 on this place now, uh, none of us, you know, most of us here are not accountants, but it doesn't work by the place. It it works as a whole. How much are, are you up between all the casinos that you've played at? But it doesn't even matter because this should have been decided up front. Are you withholding taxes on the jackpots? Yes or no. Usually the organizer of a group pool does not withhold taxes because most of us that hold group pools are slot channels and we have the loss to cover these jackpots when taxes are, are filed. And he's also saying that he's up, but this was in the beginning of the year in January. How do you know what you're going to do for the rest of the year? So I'm going to say as a slot player that's going to gamble all year, you're going to lose at the end of the year. You just withheld 20% in taxes from all these jackpots. Actually, he didn't even withhold it from the jackpots. He added the total of how much he had in cash and then took 20% off, not even the jackpots. So he actually taxed the, the pot of 20%, which he took more than he should have. So guess who's making out at the end of the day? Not the people that bought in filthy. So he can't lose. And if he keeps doing these group holes and withholding taxes, and then at the end of the year, all of his win-loss statements show a loss. Guess what? He doesn't have to pay tax on those jackpots. And all that money he collected, he it goes into his pocket. It's a fucking scam. Just want to show another clip of how he just makes these decisions on the fly. But also this one was really done without any guidance from the participants of his group poll. 5,500, guys. So obviously, I think we should just go again. <laughs> if not, we'll go one more time, guys. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go 5,500 one more time. See, he said, I think this is what we should do. But then it automatically flips to, well, we're going to go one more time. So no one had a say. If they were up or down, I don't know. But either way, you didn't have a say. He, he said, we're going one more time. That's how, how Filthy is running his group polls. But then in addition, in addition to all of this going on, then he has the balls repost these live streams as videos of his own. Now, you're watching this and you're probably saying you have the audio muted. No, I don't have the audio muted. <coughs> yes, let's try more bucks. You're going to see out of the blue. The audio is going to come back on because what he. All right, guys, let's try three hundred more bucks in here, and let's move on to something else. See, like right that's him it. talking to the group. This was a posted video on his channel, but he mutes the sections in the video that he doesn't want people to hear. So when you're watching the video as a first-time viewer, he's giving you the the appearance that these are just his own slot videos. He's muting the sections when he's talking during these live streams, when he reposts his videos, super, super shady, just trying to pass it off. Like he's sitting there betting, you know, $250 a spin, but these are group pull videos. And these were previously live streamed on his channel that he's cutting and reposting as separate videos, just really, really shady. But what I also think was funny was that he also cut one up and posted it as a premiere. And then he wrote this in the chat. He wrote copy. Someone asked, 
someone asked why there was such a long section of the video that was muted and he wrote in the chat copyright or conversation one or the other yeah it was a conversation you know talking to your to the people from the live stream about it being a group poll super super shady now speaking of shady let's talk about another person that filthy is friends with so this is mr Hanpei. he's a a new channel and uh from this thumbnail you could see on December 9th, he had a live stream fundraiser. Great. You know, we love uh, a fundraiser in the slot community. So what he did was he said he was going to donate all of his super chats. And then he was going to match them and give them to a family or families in need for Christmas. Wonderful. Who doesn't want to give to less fortunate people around Christmas time, right? It's the season of giving. Well, so... Any Super Chats, guys, it's going right back for to a good cause. We're going to film all of that as well, and we're going to show you guys that. So, yeah, he said he's going to match everything, film all of it, and then show us. Great. We love it. We want to see it. We want to cry. We want to say, oh, my God, look at how happy this family is that you made, that we made with our donated Super Chats at Christmas. Only one problem. No video. What are we in? April? I, I believe... He collected 2,500 in Super Chats, and if he was to match it, it would be 5,000. But we'll call it 2,500 that he allegedly stole from his subscribers because he never provided the proof, and he very well may have the proof. And I actually reached out to him. I reached out to him in January, again, trying to not read people for filth and give them a heads up and say, hey, people are talking. I'm getting messages. Do something about it. Post the fucking video. So I sent him a message on Instagram. I said, hey, so I've received a few messages from people about your stream where you said you were donating all the super chats to family families in need for Christmas. Nothing was done after that. I don't remember if you said you were going to put out a video or post, but he did. We, we just showed the clip with photos or whatnot, but maybe you should. And um, blah, blah, blah. I actually just sent everything over to Simon to see if she can condense all of the footage and put together, put a video together. I met with a couple of companies who specialize in social media management, but they're just too expensive. Currently, I do all the editing, posting, back and work, and there's just not enough time in a day considering I run a multi-million dollar construction business. Well, he, he does have someone on staff now. He has for quite some time. He pretty much blew me off and told me, fuck you. So yeah, where's, where's the video? What did you do? What did you do with this 2500 This is one of my biggest problems with the slot community. People not putting their money where their mouth is. They, they love to gloat about how much money they have, but yet they have their hand out for donations from people. Why? For what reason? Just donate. Did you do that so you can get a tax write-off? Did you donate it? I, I, I don't know. What goes through people's minds when they think of these, oh, I'm going to do this great thing, but then not follow through all the way. And no one's going to question me because I'm such a great person. Well, no, you're really not. That's a little tea on Mr. Hampe. I'm assuming he will respond to this and, and say, come up with some bullshit excuse, just like he did in his message to me. But again, that was in December. We're in April. No matter what you do, even if you post the video tomorrow, it's too late. So let's move on to the next channel that I've ne actually never even heard of before until uh, people in, in my Patreon started to talk about this group poll from this slot channel that, like I said, I've never heard of. I'm going to post a screenshot. This channel goes by the name of GC Slots. Um, like I said, I've never heard of her before. I believe she has under 5,000 subscribers, which again, as my rule of thumb is, you are not on the Easy Life Investigations radar unless you have over 5,000 subscribers. But since this is relevant to the story, we will allow it. The judge has granted us permission. The GC Slots posted... This is the hardest thing I had to write. I came to Arizona and was going to get treated for cancer. So now we feel bad already because she has cancer, right? 
The plan was for me not to work, but go through treatments and get better. I was expecting one more check from my work for the PTO I hadn't taken. My bills were due and I borrowed money from myself. No, not yourself. You borrowed it from the people of the group poll and I would pay it back with my last check. Then I was informed that the PTO I have accumulates as you work throughout the year and I wouldn't get a check. They said, this is the first year they're doing it that way. And last year you could use it whenever. So now I am seeking employment here in Arizona in order to give everyone their money back. I will no longer be doing group polls or even have a channel because I feel horrible for what I did. Group poll 33. This is her 33rd group poll. My sincerest apologies. I will pay each and every one of you in full as soon as possible. Please forgive me. A few things here. One, I cannot believe she's on her 33rd virtual group poll. So again, just another channel using people's money to fund their gambling addiction because obviously they don't have the money to do it themselves. And then reaping all the benefits of gambling with other people's money, the comp, the, the future free play, everything. So this lady uh, pulled on people's heartstrings, which who wouldn't say, oh my God, you have cancer. Don't worry about my hundred bucks. Keep it pay your bills. You know, I could also say that's other people's money. They're just medical bills. They're not going to come knocking down your door like easy life loans when you owe us money. You know, big deal. You don't pay your bills. We've all been there before. We've all not paid a bill, forgotten to pay a bill. It's not the end of the world. You, did, you What did you, you didn't borrow that money. You gambled that money away. Further receipts in regards to GC slots this was something she posted for Group Poll 30. I finally got myself to the bank. Thank you for understanding. I will be transferring your wins tonight. I'll let you know when Group 31 will be. If not, this weekend, next weekend. So I guess she was probably taking a really long time to pay the people of Group Poll 30 back. She probably gambled Group Poll 30's money and had to pull that together as well. A couple of days later, after she apologized to Group Poll 33, she then posted this message on her community wall. Update on my health. As you all know, I went to Arizona to get treated, but they would not take my insurance. So I applied for insurance up there, and even as of today, it is still pending. Tom and I decided to come home too, so I could continue working while in Texas. I don't want to be, since I don't want to permanently transfer my license to Arizona. I have went around in a big circle and decided to go back to square one. I called the doctor who initially diagnosed me with the C word, and I am still waiting a call back to reschedule. So Monday, I will call again and keep calling until I can get someone on a line. I just pray it hasn't gotten out of control after this time. I hope I have something more solid to tell you next time. Thank you for all of your support. So wait, in the other message, you said you were going to get treatment. Now, well, I I'm confused. I'm confused. But let's, here we go. A couple of days later, I fucking can't. We're back. No mention of cancer anymore. The cancer's gone. I'm doing group polls again. Forget what I said that I won't be having, you know, that I won't be having a channel anymore. We're back. The group poll will consist of X amount of people at $100 a person. And she's giving her her couple of rules. Let me know if you were in for group poll 30, 34. You know those commercials on TV where they tell you to drink the miracle spring water and it cures you? I guess that's what happened with her. I don't think, I don't know. Does she, she, she doesn't say anything about her health anymore. She said, I, I can't. I fucking can't. Uh, this one, this one, like this lady should be ashamed of herself. Okay. You pulled on people's heartstrings and you said, you know, I fucked up. I used your money. Everyone in the, that comment section was like, don't worry about it. Keep the money. Worry about yourself. You're saying I'm not doing group polls anymore. I'm done with my channel. And then here you are literally a week later, group poll 34. We're back bitches. Are you fucking kidding me? This lady should be embarrassed. I can't believe that she even has the balls to show her face on YouTube. Well, let's move on to the next dummy in the slot community. Everyone has been asking and asking. I posted a teaser 
on my community wall about this. If you didn't see it, we're going to read it right now. If you're not familiar, fam, we are talking about Naomi's slot channel. I sent her an email and I said to her, I was recently informed by another channel that you held a virtual group poll, which I am putting a video out about soon. And I will be including you as it was brought to my attention that you had a winning group poll and the group poll won. Upon winning, you took a longer than usual time to pay the participants back because you did not have the money and you had to borrow the money from a subscriber to pay people back. Of course, I am in possession of the receipts. Would you care to comment? In addition, I was also notified that you block people if they leave your channel membership. Don't need your comment on that. Just proves you are a shitty person. Reveal yourself, as you say. Many thanks, Easy Life Investigations. Now, tickle me pink. She did not respond to me. No one was waiting with bated breath, thinking that she would respond. But we have the receipts that I just can't believe what goes on. And I just cannot believe the things that go on in these in, in the slot community. These people, these people have no right to be gambling. Now, I was wondering how Naomi had group polls and how she found people. Because she doesn't post anywhere that I could find where she solicited people to join her group polls. And we did digging and digging. We really couldn't find anything on Facebook or Instagram. She doesn't have any videos on her channel telling people I'm doing a group poll to email me. So I'm like, where is she getting the participants of this group poll? And then someone sent me a message and they, they said that they were a participant of her group poll, the one where she didn't pay people back. And I asked them, I said, hey, just point me, tell me where I need to go. Tell me where I need to find where she's finding these people to join her group polls. And they said her channel members. So what did I have to do? I had to spend $5, which I disputed, don't you worry. Uh, And I joined her channel membership to get access to her community wall, which is private for channel members. And lo and behold, there are the receipts, her soliciting people that are her channel members to join her group polls. Hello to all my members. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you all. Can't thank you all enough. Hope all is well with everyone. I will be probably putting up some polls just to get some feedback from you all. It is my birthday month, so I will be combining this live stream with an NSC special. Now, that is Naomi's code word for a group poll. So all those live streams that she was doing every week, whenever she was saying that it was an NSC special, those were virtual group polls. Let me know if you would like to participate in the NSC live stream. Send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Shady Shaderson. So that's how you're that's how you were doing it. Okay. So here's a, a, a poll that she put up. When we do our next NSC live stream, do you prefer? So she's soliciting the participants of the group poll what machine she wants to play. The person that lent Naomi the money wanted to remain anonymous. Now, obviously, Naomi's gonna know who lent her the money. Uh, but they don't want the public to know. Uh, they are a person in the community that that is somewhat known, and they just don't want to be involved in this, which rightfully so. Why would you want to be? But here's a, a little excerpt of the conversation between me and the person. I'm in blue, they're in black. I said, you lent Naomi money to pay back people for her group pull, and she didn't even pay you back bonds I had to? Holy shit, what a terrible person she is. And the person responds, I like Naomi, though, as a person. The reason why she said she needs to borrow the money. Yeah, I am intrigued to know the story if she spent the group pool's money or if the bank did put a hold on her account. But I have no clue which is true. Shady stuff on others' money, definitely bad. Okay to clip some corners of the truth if own money, but others not good at all. I said, I don't believe the bank hold stories. So to make a long story short, she said that the bank put a hold on her account with all the money in it. So it was essentially frozen and she could not access the money. 
Now, if anyone has had their bank account frozen in the past, it's a couple of days. So Naomi used the excuse that her bank was frozen and that she had to borrow the money to pay the people back because the, the money from her group pool was in this alleged frozen account. Now, what I think Naomi should do, which we know she won't, is you're going to have a paper trail that your account was frozen for, for these dates. Prove it. Prove that your account was frozen. It wasn't frozen. What happened was you live streamed at San Manuel, you ended the live stream high as a kite because you guys won so much money, and then you blew it. And what's even more embarrassing is that you get that stupid, uh, big bitch bonsai boy to borrow the money from this person, and Naomi didn't even pay it back. From what I'm hearing, bonsai paid this person back, not Naomi. So I was curious how much it was. And the person said, I said, unreal, just crazy. That was a lot of money. Because I knew that Grupal, she won a lot of money. So I'm assuming she blew it all, which maybe she did. But she only borrowed $2,000 from this person. And then Bonsai paid it back. So in the words of Naomi, thanks for showing us your true colors. Bonus feature time. Since we're talking about Naomi, let's talk about one of her friends, associates. This is Slotty by Nature. A couple of years ago. A GoFundMe was created for Slotty by Nature's parents that were allegedly, both of them were in hospice. They, they both were very ill. And as anyone that knows hospice knows that that's end of life. That means you're going to, to pass. And this GoFundMe raised a large amount of money. I believe it was upwards of 30000 I would love to show you the receipts from the GoFundMe. But of course, when anyone does something shady and they need to cover their tracks, the GoFundMe is now removed from the site and it was made private. And I don't have the screenshots, which shame on me for not taking them back then because I should have. As of recently, Slotty by Nature had a conversation with someone. This is what she said. Slotty by Nature is in, in black and the other person is in uh, that purple bluish color. And they said, uh, the, the person said, do you live with them? But yours are older, yeah? She said, no, I don't live with them. They are in a nursing home. Wait, shouldn't they be in the grave? I'm sorry, I don't mean to say it that way. But you had a GoFundMe for your parents that were in hospice. You collected like $30,000 for your parents to bury both of your parents. It was a really sad story. Of course, anyone, both of their parents in hospice at the same time. That's really, that's. That's like, how does a person recover from something like that when they're going to lose both of their parents uh, simultaneously? The money was flying into that GoFundMe. And from what I hear from people in California, because that's where she plays, during and after the GoFundMe, this girl was in the high limit room at San Manuel doing $25 spends. You form your own opinion on that one. I'm glad both of her parents are alive and well. But just another piece of shit in the slot community that ran a scam. Well, let's talk about our next person running virtual group polls, shall we? If you don't know this guy, this is Brian of Denver. And he is a branch off of the Big Jackpot, as you can see by the, the little avatar. The Big Jackpot owns Brian of Denver's channel. I don't know if anyone knows this. It's probably not public knowledge, but all the money generated on the Brian of Denver channel goes to the big jackpot. It is his channel. Brian of Denver is just the face of it. Brian of Denver, his entire channel is a virtual group pull. But this is a more complex group pull than any others. This is one that never ends. Now, just like Naomi, where she called it an NSC special, Brian of Denver never calls it a group pull either. He calls it Bank the Bonus. Here's a little excerpt from the Big Jackpot's Patreon Facebook group where it, he's saying last week was a 56% return. Anyone who wants to join in, add on, or cash out may do this at any time. If no reply from previous players, auto rollover. So this is a group poll that never ends. You can keep buying in. You can cash out at any time. But 
Brian of Denver is in control of the money at all times. He gets all the game selections. There's no very minimal input from what I see that goes on. And the entire Brian of Denver channel is a group poll. Who knows what's in that pot? Because people are joining in, people are adding on, people are cashing out. Again, just another message. Last week was an unfortunate 25% return, and Locket Link did not go our way. If you want to add on, buy in, or cash out, you can. It's pretty much just a copy and paste of the previous message. I do find this a little bit interesting because, from my knowledge, the Hard Rock casinos are anti group polls. And that's the reason why I guess he never publicly announces that these are group polls. Because they don't want that there. I don't know if they don't want it because of the the crowds of people. But I find it extremely interesting that the entire Brian of Denver channel was built off of a virtual group poll. And I think very few people even know that that goes on over there. And with all of these channels that are just doing shady business, I feel like you you should be disclosing that these are group polls. These are virtual group polls. April will be a drama tea-filled month. And next week's video that I will be putting out, it's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, you may like it. You may not like it. We'll be showing a mugshot. So thanks for joining. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Like this video. And... Just like the last video that I did on Sister Christopher, Caroline Manzo also has something to say to Naomi and the rest of these idiots. You can say what you want to say and you can portray yourself however you choose to portray yourself. You are not fooling me, okay? And you're not fooling too many other people. You know what you are? You know what you are? You're a clown.